Well, hello there, friends and family. I mean, I'm so surprised to see y'all again today. Caught me here at the mailbox. Well, I was checking the mail. I wasn't expecting y'all. Nope, I surely wasn't. I'm so glad y'all came along. And you might notice it's a pretty breezy day. So much so that even the mailbox post is swinging back and forth. You might have caught Cleo too. She just went by after having her uh, lunch. <laughs> She's on God's time, not daylight savings. But as many of you know, who have been with the channel a long, long time, you know what day it is. And in doing so, you'll know, I'm always reminded by the Kitty Crew and of course, Gracie, and now, Lily Bit. Now, Lily Bit just don't understand what Friday's all about. She really hasn't experienced it like the other kitty crews do. But I think Gracie may have filled her in. And for those of you who have been keeping track of the weather for me and alerting me to it, I just wanted to say thank you so much and God bless you all. And I do hope every one of you that were in the storm's path, whether it was in the south all the way up to the northeast, you came through it okay. You're safe, you're well, in your homes on this day. For many, it didn't turn out so well. But that's just how it happens. I'm not sure if it's by pure luck or by God's grace. You know how I feel about it. And I'm not going to argue it. But yep, for those of you who know, it's Friday. And what does Friday mean? Well, that means it's Fast Food Friday. Not so much for Mr. Tom as it is for the kiddies. Yep, they look forward to it. Now we don't go every Friday. We go about once a month. And we pick them up their favorite treats. And that's exactly what it is. A treat. It's not a pool blown meal. No, it's not. Whew, thankfully gas has come back down a little bit. Finally under $4. 387, how be it? That too is a tragedy. But enough of that. There's reasons for it. I think we can all agree. Yep. But I would like to say now for many people who uh, don't understand how Mr. Tom can spend the kind of money he does for the kitty crew. Oh, look at those dogwoods blooming darn right pretty. Oh, look at the azaleas over there. Oh, those are colorful. You'll see plenty of them if you keep an eye out. Another dogwood coming up right there. It's that time of year. And the associated pollen that comes with it. Ooh, those are some beautiful ones right over there on the right. Those azaleas. You gotta love them. Because they'll only be there for about a week. But yeah, Fast Food Friday is often sponsored by all of y'all. That sure is. Some of you send a little bit of green to Spooky on occasion. And Spooky reminded me today as I was walking to the car. And so did Speedy. To make sure I told all of y'all thank you ever so much and he wanted to remind you you didn't have to do it he knows papa's got their back and that's true we're never going to ask or beg if somebody wants to that's on them if they don't we're good with that too and that's enough of that 
But as you can see, it's really greening up in the deep south. And considering the weather over the last week, like I say, many of y'all have monitored it for me and alerted me to it. Boy, today is so much better. Yeah, we're still, oh, I would say mostly cloudy. Some would say partly cloudy. But you can see that deep blue, dark blue sky above the clouds. And over the next few days, we're supposed to remain so. But I will say, it's also in stark contrast today by the temperature. Because here we are, midday, well, going on one, and we're only up to 66 degrees. Yeah, think about that. When those storms were passing through, we were in mid to high 70s, sometimes low 80s. Hence why the weather was so severe. It's that time of year. And it's going to be this time of year for the remainder of the spring, the summer, and into the fall. Just all part of living in the south. Not only the south, but the southwest, the midwest, and now even on up in parts of the northeast. Though it is quite rare. Or at least it is for tornadoes. And surely hurricanes. Yep. Because unfortunate as it may be, it will not be no time for we'll be having to check on them too. So y'all know where we're going. Spooky made it clear. Just what he wanted today and Speedy backed it up. And of course, Mr. Gray, you know, Mr. Gray, he's just so kind. He don't care. Whatever you get, Papa, I'm good with it. And that being said, you know, yes, sir, we going to Jack's. And we going to get their number one favorite. Yep. Chicken fingers. <laughs> yeah, you'd think they'd get tired of them. But oh, no. That's never the case. So, we're going to whip on in here, and we're going to get us some. Let's see what they got. Farmer Jack? Yeah, I'd like a 12-piece chicken fingers. What's your dipping sauce? Uh, I'll take some ranch. Y'all got ranch? We do. I'll have ranch. Anything else? That'll be it. 1539. We'll see you at the window. Thank you, ma'am. So yeah, you may have not heard it, but a 12 piece there, that's going to be uh, $15.39. Yep, even the price of chicken fingers has gone up. Now I already know folks, I can buy the chicken breast, I can slice it up, you know, I can go through all of that, and I have. In fact, I got a video of doing that, where I fooled the kitty crew, and they didn't seem to mind. And if it ever comes to that point, we'll do that again. See, that's life. For those of you who may be new to the channel and already wondering why the old man goes through this, you know, these are my children now. And I always did special things for my kids. Yeah, I did. 
Now the kids are grown, out on their own. My son, my daughters, they're doing fine. They don't need Papa so much. Whereas the kitty crew reminds me daily, we need you, Papa. And they make sure nothing's gonna happen to me. Like already you know, they're the best, best weather forecasters you can find. You know, well, you know, as well as Spooky, you know, he's a fantastic accountant and uh, advisor, especially on national security and issues of that nature. Here you go, ma'am. Oh, here you go. Just keep changing. Okay. Sometimes I can't count. Could have swore I had it right. Thank you very much, ma'am. You too. So there we have it. It was just that quick. They had them hot and ready. And oh my God, they are smelling fine. So, we're going to take the long way back just so you can see how things look here in my little small town in the deep south of Bama. Yep. Get over here because people are crazy on this highway. Speed limit is supposed to be 35. Of course, you'd never know it. Except for us responsible, you know, old ones. Which they will complain about. Yep. I try to do 30, 35. But sometimes, whoo, people ain't paying attention. They'll run right up on you. Ooh, look there, Superfood's doing a good business today. So proud to see that. And if you're not supporting your local grocery, yeah, you might want to think about it. Because once they're gone, and the only choice in town is China Mart, well, welcome to what you got. It wasn't Walmart's fault. It was y'all's. Just putting it out there, plain as can be. Because that's the way it goes. And I'm so happy in my little small town. Yep, they still shop. Walmart, far too many. But we also support Super Poops. Which I might say, I've been putting off going shopping for quite some time. Ooh, there's some more dogwood. And you probably missed the wisteria that's starting to bloom. Woo! Yeah, it's beautiful, but it's pollen. Boy, it's some of the worst out there. And those of you who have wisteria growing in your area, it grows wild down here. It's invasive. Yep, it's another one of those invasive species. And when it's blooming, flowering, woo! It is tough on the sinuses and respiratory system. But as you can see, everybody's out and about on this beautiful Friday early afternoon. Tractor Supply even got plenty of people. Because you know it's that time of year. Time to be mowing, cutting, trimming, gardening, you got it going on. And that's what, when you don't hear from me for a few days, you know, I got not a huge property to take care of, but for one little old man, it's more than enough. And I got all the things that go with it. It ain't like I got the kids at the house no more, the wife, and you know, the kiddies, they're always with me and they're wanting to help. 
Spooky even ordered some gloves for him. Woo, look at all those azaleas up there. Now that, that yard got it going on. Multiple color azaleas. Woo. Got to give them credit. They have a beautiful flower in spring, every spring. But like I was saying, spooky tries. But it's that whole, you know, we ain't got thumbs, Papa. You know, I can be out there raking up stuff. And of course, they'll get in the piles. And they'll try to move it along. Sometimes, I think they just spread it out more than move it in the right direction. Now today, I was going to get up and do some more uh, trimming and raking. But with this wind, that would have been futile. Back in my days working all the time, sometimes I had to go out and fight it. But, you know, sometimes it was just like, you know, trying to uh, herd cats. The more I raked, the more it blew back on me. Of course, as y'all know, can't herd cats. If you look over in that yard, right in front of us, as we're waiting for traffic to go by, since they cut this here road a little short when they come in, you'll see the Dutch clover is all in bloom. And if you pay real close attention alongside the road, you'll see a lot of blue and violet flowers popping up. Oh yeah. Yep. Of course, soon the city will come along and butcher all that. Yep. That's just the way of things. It gets back to that uniformity. But for now, especially since we've had so much rain and it's been so wet, it's allowed things to pop on up that we wouldn't normally see. I got to give the city employees credit here. They do a pretty darn good job keeping the city, the cemeteries, and public places looking sharp. Yep. If you ever see them out working away, hey, bring them by, you know, a snack. Maybe some donuts. Some of them near Krispy Kreme things. Or, you know, whatever. Some sneaker bars. Three musketeers, maybe. Hey, we ain't got to do it. And in many lo local rural areas, ain't nobody taking care of their cemeteries no more. They get all grown up and look nasty. But look at ours. They're looking fine. As you know, since I live right across the street from them, Look at all these trees. The leaves haven't got fully mature yet, but they're well on their way. And there's some limbs down right there. Yep, wind got strong here the other day. And there for about 20 minutes, I could have swore from the roaring, there was an airborne tornado southwest of me. I know the sound all too well. There's some more azalea bushes, and of course you can see the lake. Yep, she looking a little choppy today. Be a little bumpy out there in the John boat. I would know, because I've experienced it. But I'm boatless right now. That's okay. If I really wanted to go and really needed the food, as my grandson Davey would say, uh, then I go sit on the bank, cast a line, and I'm going to try to take the time to do that this year. I meant to do it last year. Got got a great viewer, supporter, Robert. Ooh, look at all those pretty pink flowers. And he uh, wanted me so much to go fishing and. You know, the time slipped away. Yep. But at least he didn't get mad and quit watching. He's still there giving me tips and tricks and sharing his views and opinions. 
and that's all good. Yep. Here we are in the center of Old Town. Got a bunch of police cars. We probably should have sped up there at that light. Because I thought the person behind me was going to have a conniption fit. Because I didn't run on through it. But I knew it was going to change. This light's quick. And if you'd like one day, not that there's a whole lot to see, we could take a run, walk around Old Town. I can tell you a few things about how things are. Nothing like using your blinker there, buddy. Just saying. You know, some people don't know what that little stick on the left side of their steering wheel is all for. No. They don't have a clue. Woo, and you can see, look out there at the dam. That water is roaring over. Yeah, buddy. And that's with the gates up. She's coming over the top. We call that the Great Falls of Tallahassee. Now, the dam itself was built on the original Great Falls. So right now, it's all we got. You should look that up. You'd be mighty surprised what it used to look like. Ooh, Spanish moss blowing in the wind. You know, the Spanish moss doesn't grow up around my place. It starts right there at the river, as strange as that may sound. I even tried to get some going on my trees. Nope, didn't like it. Said it was too far north. I was going, bro, it's only five blocks, maybe six. Wouldn't do it. But it starts right there at the river. And you can find it growing in marshy places, swampy, and along rivers all the way to the Gulf Coast. We're going to take a short trip, you know, up through the neighborhood see how things are. Hopefully, nobody will pop into me here. That's a bad place really to come to a stop. Yes, it is. Many accidents there because people top that hill. Speeding, of course. Everything looking pretty though. This is my one of my two favorite times of year. One is early spring, the other is fall. And as you might hear, somebody's calling us on the phone. Not sure who that can be, but it's buried deep in my jean pocket, and I'm not going to be able to answer it right at the moment. I'm driving, which brings up an important topic. Yep, they ain't giving up. Is uh, I try my best not to talk, and especially not text when I'm in the vehicle. I've seen too many horrendous accidents while driving back and forth, commuting to work. And you could tell they weren't paying attention. And you know, when that happens, when there's an accident like that, the first thing investigators do is they go back and they check your cell phone records. Yeah, it's just like when I was hit rear-ended. The person that rear-ended me was on their phone, texting away, right up 
to the second of impact. Yeah, imagine that. So, let's head it up this way. Try to see if we can get a little more color in the view. There's our mail person. Putting some mail in. Appreciate them. They done been by my house. Got a nice card today from uh, Don and Condessa. Just want to, you know, give them a little shout out there. I get a lot of cards, so it makes it difficult. I got to put some fuel in the car too. So while we're here and prices are a little lower, let's get her done. The last time I fueled up was what? 407? Yeah. We're approaching a half. Better get her now. Never know. Okay? Y'all sit in the car, okay? <laughs> Well, nobody got into the chicken tenders while I was pumping the gas, right? I surely hope not. Most of the time, y'all are pretty good. But every once in a while, one of y'all, you'll try to sneak fries, chicken tender. Yeah, remember what happened when I went to get the Chinese? Yeah, one of y'all ate half an egg roll. Not that I mind. That's why I bought extras. I knew somebody wouldn't make it all the way to the house. Oh, and yeah, as we rode, I've tried to cover a lot of things and sort of sp sporadic conversation but if you were here in the focus with a couple thousand people you'd understand how much conversation is going on now and get quite intense in the focus sometimes I don't know how the old girl can drag us all around she's been a good car and I hope she continues to be well, the Bolero's 389, only two cents higher. Yep. No, I'm not sure which has been. Oh, there's some of that Mysteria right there. You had to be quick to catch it. That violet blue or what have you. So, yep. Here we are, back close to the old home place. And tomorrow, weather permitting, we're gonna keep knocking out the yard. I mean, basically we had to spend the whole day again just picking up all the limbs that the high winds knocked out. You can see, just look at that tree, that Don Redwood, right there. See how that baby's waving in the wind? There are times today when that wind will get up high enough that uh, it'll almost blow you off your feet. Because when I was out pumping that gas, the gusts come up pushed me pretty hard. Now, you might notice I'm doing something here. I'm backing the car in. Well, there's a good reason for that. You know, my dad always told me, you know, when it was storm season, don't be pulling in, back in. You might ask yourself why. And the reason being was, if we gotta leave in a hurry, 
we we can't take the time to be worrying about backing out we got to be ready to go and even though I forget to do that from time to time I've been trying to do that more often now seems like good advice but hey we got to get them chicken tenders in and we got to you know chop some up like we always do and get them to the gray sin a little bit and the kitty crew so y'all hold on if some of you want to come in grab a knife help out you can if you don't well maybe we'll chat a while and uh go from there so let's all jump out and head her on in the house well y'all now that we got them we got to start cutting them up because the creek kitty crew is waiting and so is gracie and a little bit Woo looks so good now as always we go ahead and let them cool a little bit and of course to cut the tension down a little bit we're going to feed the two princesses of the house So we'll cut these up into bite-sized pieces. Make it easy. And I got two of them right down below my feet. Yes, I do. I mean, they wait all week long for this. And like I say, it sort of brings back memories when I used to do it for the kids. As all of y'all know, kids aren't at home no more. Now my kids wear fur coats. <laughs> yes, they do. And it just amazes me how my furry friends can know it's fast food Friday. <laughs> That's better than some humans. You know, like me sometimes. Can't remember what day of the week it is anymore. But the kitty crew will always let me know when it's fast food Friday. So, yep, get her all diced up there for them. You know. Get in their bowls. Right like that. You see? Give the hands a little bit of a wash. Well, let me get it in their bowls. Because, yeah, Gracie and Little Bit, they get special stainless steel bowls. The kid crew, they don't care. So there we go. Now, wash up, and I'll show you, and you'll see. Do they like them, or do they not? Let's see if they like them. Gracie, a little bit. You want them? Okay. There y'all go. Let me get another one, okay? Y'all don't got to fight over just one. Here we go. Here we go. Gracie, here's yours. So there we go. We got Gracie eating hers. Of course, she's got to pull it out of the bowl and kill it. And we got Lily Bit eating hers. And you can see, Lily Bit, she understands they're already dead. But as you saw, Gracie, she's got the same habit Trixie had. Yep. If it's cooked meat, wild game. <laughs> she's got to drag it out of the bowl and make sure it's dead first. All the time, a little bit is not even checking up. They're loving it.
Well, now I gotta get the ones ready for the outdoor kitty crew. So, let me get all that done, and we'll see if they still enjoy their fast food Friday. Okay, you guys enjoy. You know, Papa loves you. Okay. Kitty, 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 kiss. Kitty, 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 kiss. Who all have we got here? Speedy, Spooky, Mr. Gray, Cleo. Okay. Okay. Come on, guys. We're going to have to sort of fake y'all off. I'm going to put a few out here. Okay. Now, rest right here. Okay. And of course, that ain't going to work, is it? Yep. Y'all guys better get in that bowl. Miss Gray's over in the bowl. <laughs> Come on, guys. I'm going to have to get more bowls. Aren't I? Get on in there. You too, Cleo. There's room for you. Okay, Cleo. Cleo. Okay, here we go. Sort of divide them up. Next time, Papa will bring two bowls. You see, the whole thing is, you never know who you're going to have. You know, sometimes Cleo comes, sometimes not. All depends on her mood. Of course, here of late, old Mr. Gray there, he's been hanging in there. Spooky? You're not hungry? <laughs> well, you a big boy, aren't you? What do you say, Cleo? Come on. Let me give... Let me uh, divide up a little bit more. Here we go. Uh-oh. You know how Cleo is. Mr. Gray. <laughs> now, come on. Y'all be nice. There's enough for everybody, okay? Come on, Cleo. Be nice. Cleo. Quit being your old curmudgeon self. Mr. Gray, you're a good boy. Cleo, quit being that way. Now, you can share. <laughs> Cleo's not going to share. And I know some will say, well, you just got to give them each their own bowl. Well, Trust me, that don't work either. We're trying to work on them all getting along together. And you can see how timid Mr. Gray is. He's sneaking up on it. Speedy, she must have had her fill because she ain't even getting no more out of the boat. Of course, as you can see, none of them are going without. But yeah, you pretty much got to let them work things out. And you can see Spooky. He's had his fill. Now it's just sort of Mr. Gray and Cleo. Come here, Mr. Gray. 
Come here. You get there. There's yours in the bowl. And we'll let Miss Cleo have hers on the porch. Okay, Miss Cleo. There you go. Yep. You're the queen. Man, you don't got to worry about having a dirty porch. Here in short order, it will all disappear. But as you can see, none of them go without a meal. Not one bit. Now I take care of them. And we are thankful to many of you who support the Kitty Crew and make sure their lives are so much better. My thanks and theirs. Even Cleo says thank you in her weakest times. Miss Speedy does. Spooky. Mr. Gray and somewhere out there Sometimes, Mr. Magoo, he was here yesterday. Elrod, he's pretty much an indoor kitty now. And we only see Heathcliff. No, well, in the midnight hours. But you know what? Before I lay my head down at night, I make sure there's something in the bowl. Waiting on them too. Well, let's go in and see if the other two I've already polished theirs off too. Little bit. Little bit. You okay? Oh, you gonna stand up to Papa? You letting Grace eat the rest of yours? You are. Huh? <laughs> Your Papa's precious, aren't you? My little kitty. <laughs> You do tricks? Hmm? You do tricks? What do you think about that? Did you enjoy Fast Food Friday? You did? You did? You really did? Well, Gracie's finishing them off. You can't leave them laying around. Well, as you can see, a little bit enjoyed what she wanted. She's more about being Papa's special princess. Aren't you, baby? Papa's special princess? You are. Well, on the other hand, Gracie, she's a child kitty. She'll eat every last one. So, y'all, what do you want to say, little bit? Hmm? Huh? What do you want to say? Oh, you said hi? Can you say hi? Really? Well, Lily Bit wanted to let you know she said hi. And she appreciates all of y'all too. As does Gracie and I. So, y'all, till I, Gracie, Lily Bit, Cleo the Queen, Spooky, Speedy, Mr. Gray, sometimes Elrod, and Magoo, and on a rare occasion, Heathcliff. See y'all on the next video. Y'all take care. Stay safe. And may God bless you as you bless those in your life. Later all.